this show so i had to come back and do another one thank you for joining me for the second episode of mike at night my new late night talk show we in the building you already know what it is might be a couple of issues with the lighting you're gonna see some magic right here but you know how we do fuck it we keep on rolling i'm taping this just a couple of days after joseph r biden was elected this nation's 46th president a lot of people think it's a new day in America. It's a new day for Mike Powers, a new day for this channel. So let's just get started. Well, the 45th president of the United States, Donald Trump, seen here looking for the fastest route to Cuba, has been impeached for the second time. This time for inciting an insurrection against his own government during the certification of electoral votes for president. That's right. Armed militia and white supremacists stormed the Capitol in an effort to stop the certification. And let's be honest, to kill elected officials they don't like. A number of folks on the right, true to form, tried to blame this insurrection on Antifa because, of course, leftist radicals would wear MAGA gear and storm the Capitol to protest an election their side just won. But that's part and parcel of what Republicans love to do. Deflect. Like how after two months of whipping tin hat hillbillies and fake hoteps into a frenzy, gassing them up to take the country back because Black Lives Matter and a Joe Biden robot is stealing their democracy, helping them plan a siege, continuing to falsely object to a free and fair election, deciding to call for unity after they came to the Capitol, erected a hangman's gallows, bum rushed the halls of Congress, hunting for elected officials, smeared Neanderthal feces all over the walls, and stole James Clyburn's Werther's originals. Now you wanna hold hands and sing Kumbaya? Here's an idea. Let's have unity after you admit that you covered for a tyrannical, dictatorial, narcissist, racist, idiot for the past five years. Step down and move you and your family permanently to Sarah Palin's backyard. Until then, take your Chinese made MAGA merch and shove it up your mama's prolapse rectum sleeve. You were so mad cause some looters and rioters got away with some 50 inch Samsung TVs. All I heard last year was, what about Target? Nigga, y'all tried to steal a whole ass country. Again, you can't tell me shit about stealing. We stopped the steal. Y'all are defendants, bitch. And now y'all want to really cry because they won't let the ex-president foment another insurrection on Twitter? Well, yeah, it's a privately owned company, remember? You were the free enterprise party. Remember your admonitions to just follow the rules? You don't like the rules? Fuck out of here. Trump has been banned by so much social media. The only place he can communicate with his followers is Xbox. He's out here looking for friends. And ooh, I have the perfect partner. You planned an insurrection on Twitter. What the fuck did you expect? Trump even got banned from Pornhub. Yes, Pornhub. That bastion of cinematic excellence, boasting such titles as Granny Takes a Cream Pie to the Face. Fun fact, it's not about dessert. At least not the kind of dessert you're thinking of. And now this. Pain, pain, go away. Now it can go away with relief this? that fits in your pocket. Introducing Himvana Rocket right. Relief, the wireless electric stimulation pain relief pen is that this a goes to work for immediately. People? Simply place it where it hurts. Then watch as the relaxing Man, get the fuck out of here. trigger points, boosting your endorphins and relieving your pain. Pocket this is some shit to make people feel comfortable when you at least twitch. try to make you us think the market of work beast. And you can feel it work. Relieving pain from sore and aching muscles, even nagging sports injuries in your knees. Knees, back, neck, hurting hands, and more fast. Hamvana Rocket uses TENS technology, just like doctors and... F I apologize. I get weird around electronics. Don't you need like a class at ITT or some shit to be able to operate? Don't you need some kind of licensing? And why are you trying to pass this off as something therapeutic or medical? Just say what it is. It's for the ladies. And now that Joe Biden, another Democrat, is moving into the White House, you know what that means. That's right, all you can eat ammo buffet because Joe Biden's gonna take away all your guns. This is actual footage of people rushing to buy ammo ahead of Joe Biden's inauguration. Wait, but I thought Obama was gonna take all your guns. 
Oh, that's right. He didn't have time to do that. He was too busy saving the fucking economy. And who are you so scared of? These guys? Y'all need to be at home watching your dumbass kids before they end up like this guy. Look on the bright side, little nigga. You ain't got to worry about having no kids. Quit crying, Bobby. Nobody's coming to save you. <laughs> Who knows? One day he might grow up and be a player like this. Yo, at least they finally admitting it. And this dude ready to clap right now. At school, they call this nigga on site. But yo, how you gonna love something you never had? Oh. On the other hand, that face says he might have hooked up with Keisha a couple of times. Fun fact, that's Jeffrey Dahmer's nephew. And I know Christmas is another 12 months away, but did you guys hear about this one? So Deal Dash has got some kind of problem, complaints with counterfeit toys from China causing harm. Y'all buying toys on Deal Dash? Bitch went to buy a Transformer robot, but got a tranny doll instead with a dick and some realistic balls and titties. The packaging say, the only toy with a surprise in every box. <laughs> All these jokes can't be winners. That's not what this show is about. And that was my second week as monologue. I hope you enjoyed that. When we come back, Lord Mob recording artist Bangs will be in the building. First, check this out. Latest trends, you got to know what's out and what's in. Talking about the taste, the one that's right. Now more than ever, it's right. Uh, lemon taste and lime taste. Great lemon taste is tough. Without lime, it's not happening. So sorry, Seven Up. No, 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 that's the trend. So tell it to a friend. We're chilling out with the taste that's in. Now more than ever. Now more than ever, it's right. Sure. He's into Afro Sheen, but I like doing my own thing. And I know Afro Sheen is great for him that's natural or straight. Before I decide on what I'll do, I always start with Afro Sheen shampoo. I don't worry about my hair looking dry with conditioner and hairdress standing by. And when there's a problem with itching and flakes, the medicated has got what it takes. When I want my look to say, all right, a cornrow is really out of sight. Comb Easy makes it a breeze to comb through and braid with natural ease. And Spray for Sheen adds that extra touch for the glow in my hair. He loves so much. I may change my hairstyles frequently, but change from Afro Sheen. Hey, not me. Afro Sheen. For all that Afro means. Soul Train Fashions is exploding with bargains during the closeout of our Rampart Street location. Men's suits, high fashion in the latest styles, buy one, get one free. Lee and Levi Twill Jeans, buy two pair, get one pair free. Dickies Pants, buy two pair, get one pair free. And also save big on a wide selection of other men's, ladies, and children's clothing and accessories. During the closeout sale of our Rampart store, and ask about credit, available now at all locations of Soul Train Fashions. Meet George Jefferson, Louise, his wife, his maid, Florence, and the rest of the gang on the Jeffersons. Weeknights at 7 here on Channel 11. Welcome back, welcome back. Thank you for that. I really do appreciate it. My next guest burst onto the scene when we started playing the song Goon on live. You might remember that. Since then, she signed up with Lord Mob from Rochester, New York. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Bang. Bangs! They seem to like you. They seem to like you. What's poppin'? Thank you for joining us. How you feel? 
no problem. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing fantastic on my fat boy shit, although no fillets. Went down the gullet this week. You know what I mean? We trying to switch it up. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year. <laughs> All right. So you're the second person to ever appear on Mike at Night. I think that's like some kind of honor for you, at least. It's nah, yeah, nah, it really is. <laughs> It hey, really but you earn that spot. You've been making some noise. You earn that spot. Let's let's just get right into it. Um, you've been rapping since you were eight. Is that correct? Yeah, since I was eight. Okay. Uh, yeah. and, and freestyling at about what? Nine Freestyle, years old. I started, I, yeah, I started freestyling like when I first started rapping. You know, at eight years old, you can't really write like that. So, like at eight, nine, that's when I was in my freestyling stage. Got you. Got you. Okay. Yeah. Um. You is this true that you plagiarized MC Light at one point? Yeah, I did. It started <laughs> off. I I like yeah, I did to, to kick it off a little bit. I don't know if I like actually. I used something with MC Light though for sure. I definitely copied something off I seen on VH1. I used to like watching those um hip hop documentaries. Mm -hmm. So it was something somebody said on that that I heard, and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna use this shit. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, and I'm noticing that right now I'm getting a little bit of lag, but that's not your fault. It's probably my fault because I'm running too much stuff at the same time. But it's OK because the people want to see you and they want to hear what you got to say. That's more important than the technical difficulties. Moving on. You have your own style now, though. You moved on from plagiarizing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> OK. And, and Long way from that. So your style is very unique. You know, some people would call it uh, dangerous. That's how I describe it. Um how would you describe your style? Um, I can't really call it. Um, I can't call it because I feel like like how other people might feel like that shit is all over the place. So do yeah. I. You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, right. But it, it's, it's all still the same thing. I, I feel like my type of style is like real shit because no matter what, if I'm singing, I'm rapping or dancing, it's some real ass shit, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Um, My research says that did you go to a performing arts high school or something similar to that? I went I went to an um, imaging and information technology school. Info technology. So you was you were sort of a nerd? Yeah, I do a little graphic design and shit. We had to build computers and stuff. I, I had to do it. Bangs. What you're describing is a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> like now, nah, I wasn't a nerd. I would just, I would just build a mainframes and code and some shit. Like, no, that's nerd. Shit. That's nerd. Shit. <laughs> hey, so, so um, and, and you performed at this school, right? You got kicked off stage. Is that right? Oh, that was in elementary school. Yeah, that was my first time performing. I got okay. kicked off stage. What happened? What what caused you to get kicked off the stage? Cause I was freestyling. I was I was bad as a kid. I don't know. I used to fight all the time. I just felt like if anybody tried me, cause I used to get picked on a lot. You know what I'm saying? And then once I grew up and I realized like my my body, you know what I'm saying? You know how people be like use your muscle. When I realized that I had it, like I was unstoppable. So as a kid, like you know, I used to get into a lot of trouble. So let me ask I you a thing. What was your yeah. go-to? Was it was it the two piece? Was it the body slam? My era, we, we was body slamming in elementary school. What was your go-to when you definitely had to get that girl piece. up out of there? Yeah, definitely the two-piece. Yeah. Oh, See straight. You stand it. Straight two-piece? <laughs> like, I'm just, biscuits or what? We just, <laughs> 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 yeah, we doing biscuits with this. <laughs> Straight shot right up the gut. That's how you leading in. Now you hit it with the two piece. Are you waiting to see if they learn the lesson, or you nah, just no? You just going straight in. Nobody get it. You not getting a chance. Okay. All right. Now, now, now this that's, is a, that's the past. You know. Right. I just I wanted to say that's that's you <laughs> back in the day. That's you back in the day. But somebody could get it still to this day. Yeah, I, we talked about it a little sure. bit on my show. Um, wait. So you got kicked off the stage. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, how'd that make you feel, though? It made me feel mad cool because all the kids love that shit. Like, <laughs> for real, I went to school the next day. They're like, yo, do another one. I'm like, oh, shit, like, give me a chance. I got to write it. <laughs> I started writing. Right? <laughs> so, and, and you, so this, this this high school you went to, though, right? Mm -hmm. You stole something? 
from the school? That's right. You tried to steal something from your high school. What did you try to steal, Bangs? <laughs> a microphone. It was a sick microphone. You know, it was a it was a technology school, so they had to fly shit. You know, when I used to be recording with my brothers, like. They had like, I mean, it was a good microphone. We could still make good music, but it wasn't like the mic they had at school. <laughs> this when you so transformed into Bangs, that. the nerd, to Bangs, the gangster. All of a sudden, <laughs> what did you, you, you did you make it out with the microphone? Nah, we ain't make it out of school. What? Did somebody tell on you? Nah, cameras, cameras, cameras. Yeah. Tech. You went to a technology school. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it's right in the name, <laughs> Banks. Hey. Nah, but it's crazy because it wasn't even like how he had it. Yo, long story short, he put it in my locker. We had it, something safe in my locker. They didn't even know it was in my locker. He went to remove it from my locker. The camera somehow ended up out of, I mean, the microphone ended up somehow out of the bag and fell out of my locker and the camera caught it. Falling out of my locker. And let me ask you this. When did you know that you had what it takes to come to no no how you know that how when did you know that you had what it takes to compete in the, in this sport when did you get, get that epiphany that yo i'm good enough where i could rock with anybody i honestly like never thought about it um nobody's ever put me in a mind state where i'm like damn i wonder if i could do it like them or you know what i'm saying like i've always just i don't know i never really thought about it you right. never, so you, you never had like that, that one moment. It's just been something that's been with you the whole entire time. Like you were eight years old. You always been rhyming. Well, actually, I ain't gonna hold you. Maybe like I feel like two years ago, I felt like my pen has just been like, okay, now I feel like anything I could write is just like, it's on go. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I've been doing this since I was eight years old. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, I've been doing it for super, super long. So for me to feel like my pen is like unstoppable two years ago, like it took a really, really long time. And now, all of a sudden, you linked up with Lord Mob. Yeah. Talk to me about Lord Mob. How did that come about? It came about, yo, through my power. What? It's crazy. Um, I was just having a conversation. And, um, when you, um, I was telling you about my beats, how I needed beats and stuff like that. You introduced me to a couple guys. And these fucks was actually the last guy that got in contact with me. But um, we heard my stuff, you know. Um, he was into it. We've been in contact ever since. Me fucks is a beast on the beats. Yeah, Shout to sure. me fucks. Shout to Flea Lord, who had obviously an amazing year last year. When we bring up Flea Lord's name, we have to say twelve for twelve. You got to say that. I mean, that's just a for fact. Sure. <laughs> and so, you not so this all happened real quick. You get hooked up with yeah. me, folks. Next thing, you out recording with folks. You was in the studio with with me, folks. You was in the studio with Flea. Is this right? Yeah, I was in the studio with Flea Ito. Yeah, they had like a Laura Ma party for me for his birthday. Um, this was actually like a couple weeks after I met them online. Yeah, and I met up with all of them. It was cool. But you was recording last week, right? I was recording, yeah, last week. Okay. Um, at so, the beginning of the year, I went out to Cape Cod with me folks and was recording out there for a week. And um, we got some hot shit coming. Okay. Is this going to be your album or what's, the, what's this project? Um, I was just recording stuff for the compilation. The compilation, um, meaning? A, yeah, so Lord Mob compilation from the album. Lord Mob so compilation. Mom, I am yeah, pretending I'm like I don't know shit that. about that because I'm a host. I know all about it, but I'm just I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm just egging you, <laughs> like you know what I mean? Okay, so you are on the now. All of a sudden, you're on a Lord Mob compilation. You're in the yeah. lab with me, fucks. I know Trill is out there. Uh, yeah, Sound Lord is out Sound there. Yeah. And you, I heard something from you. Is this an advanced release? I don't think this is out yet. But I thought I heard something with you and Flea on it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I got a track with Fleet. I don't, we even got no name for that. That's how Actually, exclusive you know? this is. That's how exclusive it is. Is this gonna be on a Lord <laughs> Mob compilation? Yes, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's supposed to be on a compilation. Okay, okay. Yeah. I happen, to, I happen to know. I happen to know y'all both ripped that one. I heard that, so I could put my stamp on that already before y'all get to hear it. Um, where am I at next? Let me just look at my questions real quick. Oh, listen. 
what's going to happen this year, 2021, when everything opens up? Are you planning on maybe touring with Lord Mob? What's on the horizon for you immediately um, in the future? In the future, I definitely plan on doing shows. Um, if it's touring, I pray it is. Like, that should be fire. Mm. Um, but definitely, I plan on doing a lot of shows because I plan on putting on a lot more content, like, besides the Lord Mob compilation. You know what I'm saying? I still got my own shit that I planned on putting out this year, so I'm going to still put my foot on that and, like, keep it going. Putting out a lot of stuff this year. It's, you know, as, as a female in this sport... And people talk about this a lot, and it can be annoying every single time is a new woman comes on the scene and begins to spit the natural inclination from the fan base and the media alike is to compare that woman with another woman that's rapping. Uh -huh. uh, in the spirit of doing this, I, I would like to ask you about, uh, you know, Shay Norris got a big name out here. You know, trust gang. Uh, some people say that she might be at the top in terms of uh, female spitters. Do you have any opinion about her stature in that position? And how do you think you measure up next to a person like uh, Shay Noor? Um. <laughs> oh, shit, I forget that this is recording. <laughs> Okay, yo. Okay, but <laughs> you're familiar with her work. You're familiar yo. with you're familiar with her work, right? You you've heard Shay spit, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. And uh, all right. Let's do this. You brought along um you brought along a clip, I think. And that's I'm getting in your way of answering this question. Did you? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Good. Good. All right. Um, you brought a longer clip. Yeah. Um, what is this that we about to run right now? Do you know? Um, is it Goon? Goon. Yeah, Goon. I mean, yeah. It's okay. Goon. This is Goon. This is something that we played uh, on Mike Powers Live. People love it. If you haven't seen this, you're about to take a peek at it right now. This is an excerpt from Goon by Bangs. Those bitches trying me. I'm just asking the Lord to keep his eye on me. In between time, I'm thinking homicide, a simple robbery. It's a billion people. Why the fuck she trying me? Don't let a tear drop. Cause that mean I'm pissed off. The more you talk, gon' cause you a ring pop. I'm never weak. In the streets, never speak. See, we roll heavy deep. Never ran, never sweet. Bitch, you dirt, easy sweet. Get you. No bitches that are risk it for that work. You fish because I smirk. No talking, you just smirk. My bitch is really bout to raise a son into a skirt. Been styling on my shit since legit, like way back. Since seventh grade, always kept the bangs in the wave cap. Who said I ain't wavy? Yo, bitch, better say that. Everybody know I get cleaner than Ajax. A teacup cool to compare to these straight cats. Yo, that was fire every single time i hear that i get the same exact feeling you know very gangster very mean very lyrical sharp with the bars bangs with goon bangs thank you once again for stopping by it was my pl pleasure sorry about that first day with the new lips and it was also my honor to have you as a second guest on mic at night we're gonna be looking forward to big things for you in the future thank you bangs And after this, that second call. Get ready, Houston, for the Swatch Watch, New York City, fresh. 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 Best of all. This Friday at the Summit, starring the world's best rappers, Run DMC, Curtis Blow, the Fat Boys, and many more. Then it's the world's greatest breakers, the Dynamic Breakers, the Max Force Swatch Breakers, the Fantastic Duo, and the Uptown Express. Get your tickets now at all Ticketmaster and Ticketron locations. Swatch the new wave in Swiss watches. The Swatch Watch, New York City, fresh. 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 Best of all. Jazz. Yeah. Cosmic Arc cartridge. Check. Power. Yeah, power. Cosmic Arc is a game cartridge for the Atari video system. Meteor! I got it! The Cosmic Arc searches out strange creatures on distant planets. Beam them up! The 
the deeper the ark travels in space, the tougher it gets. We may not get back to Earth. Boy, clean your room. We're back. Cosmic Ark by a magic. The video system must be bought separately and connected to the TV by your parents. Monday's girl is fine and hip. And this S-curl style says my hair is limp. Wednesday's girl, I can persuade. With this look, I know my hair is late. With S-curl style, I'm good to go. And Friday's girl lets me know. Sunday's girl is the best. She makes, makes him forget all the rest. For smooth styles, S-curl's going on. For the man's look. Thank you. How dope was that? Bangs interview. Sadly, we're coming close to the end of the show, but before we get out of here, I want to do a little segment where I talk to people who annoy the hell out of me. It's called Fuck You. <laughs> Fuck you, people who like anime. Start the cartoon anime. Do I have to like everything you like? No, you don't like everything I like. Take Spicy Wings, for instance. I know y'all weak-ass digestive track can't handle that. Pokemon Go almost got your ass killed. Niggas out here looking for Pikachu. And real niggas out here playing peekaboo. Then y'all want to take it too far. You want to get a real Japanese woman, which is fine. But you got her dressed up like a fucking cartoon all the time. She looks submissive, but the bitch ain't cooking. That's the price you paying to let her play that submissive role in public. She does what the fuck she wants at home. Like for real, what a fucking waste. You would have been better off get you a real sane Japanese woman. Think about it. Anime is weird and sneaky. I don't know what the fuck they be talking about and whatever the conflict is, I feel like that should be going on for over a thousand years. For you anime dudes, that would be like you jumping into the third season of The Wire. I mean, sure you're gonna know that everybody's scared of Omar, but you're not gonna know that that dude sucks dick. Stop it! And the storyline switch up out of nowhere. One minute he going to save his best friend, the next minute somebody fucking a dragon. And I don't believe in bullying, but I seen these anime type cats when I was going to school. I don't even know if anime was out at the time I was going to school, but them Dungeons and Dragons niggas, they the same type. Y'all get that little corner during gym class and play Risk and World of Warcraft and all that goofy shit. Grouped up with goth niggas, Big Bang Theory watching ass type niggas, couple finger painting ass niggas, and two 15 year old boys playing jacks on the floor. Oh, yes. Y'all niggas weird. Every time I've ever tried to have a conversation with one of these guys, they either open up on some L. Ron Hubbard shit or they asking me how to pull bitches. Now you think I'm a superhero? Nigga, you think this is an episode of the smart guy? Then I heard his levels to this shit. What the fuck is Oticus? What the fuck is a weeboo? And some of y'all gonna say, oh, I'm not aligned with Star Trek. You see, the idea that a person could travel through time without physically aging is, you see what I'm talking about? You weird as fuck. That Japanese girl, she will be around maybe three years until she gets tired of living in an efficiency in Newark and fucking a guy on a futon that sweats Taco Bell mild sauce. For real, the shit might be fly, but y'all did too much when you tried to make it a culture. In my opinion, in order for a culture to be built and survive, it gotta have some fly to it. It gotta have some cool to it. Nobody wants to see 25,000 of you motherfuckers outside enjoying life. By definition, y'all shit belong in the shadows. Y'all freak out kids, animals, grandparents, blind people, true respectable nerds, teachers, wildlife, clergy, and gang members. It's unanimous. Fuck you, anime motherfuckers. Thanks for joining me for Mike at Night. Don't miss the next one. I'm out.